podcast made possible by contributions from the following. The Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their 30 area McDonald's restaurants today. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? It's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Go to RosenHyundai.com or GenesisOfElgonquin.com. For all your heating or cooling needs, count on Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland. Featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service, find them online at CustomHeating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling, powered by Bryant, whatever it takes. Tom the Plumber, service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography. For portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more, contact Daryl Barnes Photography at DarylBarnes.com. And hello once again and welcome as we get ready for our second game on this night. This game brought to you by our season sponsor, the Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their 30 area McDonald's restaurants today. And our first quarter of this game is being brought to you by Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. If you're looking for a brand new or certified pre-owned, it's Rosen Express Online, buying made simple. Go to RosenHyundai.com and GenesisOfAlgonquin.com. Rosen, Rosen, Rosen. We are singing now as Larkin and many of their players are coming up our way here as they have won the first game, 91-46. Larkin will play the winner of this game to follow, which coaches Dundee Crown against St. Charles East. Should be a good matchup. Dundee Crown's had a nice season. They've been inconsistent, but when they're good, they're very, very good. And so I look for them to be at their best tonight. St. Charles East has had a rough year, but their great program overall have been for years. And you know, this would make their season if they could have a, a win here in the regional. So I'm looking for a good game tonight and anxious to see which teams are best ready to play. Well said coach, so we'll get it away here. Get a chance to have all the action coming our way. We again appreciate Pat Wilson, the public address man for Larkin High School, doing a nice job with, with music and announcements. We'll have our starting lineup and get ready for this second game. We'll join you on Friday night. Larkin will play the winner of this game. And prior to that, maybe an hour prior to that, we'll have to see first round of the three-point uh, shootout, showdown, if you will. Here we go. It's a loud crowd here tonight, Coach. <laughs> it's at least a loud public address system, I'll, tell you, I'll say that. It's hard to speak over it. it, it it's the first time in many years that we've sat up, uh, in front of it, if you will. We're on the far side, on the west side tonight yes. for a better viewpoint. And now we get the, the great voice of Pat Wilson and great music coming away. But they're telling us in the truck they are hearing us. We expect our starting five for both teams to come away now. Again, if you joined us late, 91-46 was the final. Larkin uh, controlling that all the way, as expected, over Streamwood. The third time they defeated that squad this year, it was 94-53 last time. Here we go. I should, we should just have the starting line. We had our anthem earlier, so we'll find out tonight. Also, the, the teams think we're going to have the anthem uh, again, so I guess we're going to have a double, wow. double anthem tonight. Wow. Maybe the guy, maybe the color guard's coming out this time. It could be. No. I'm not sure we can stand up again. I missed, in our, yeah. I missed them the first yeah. game. That's a great group, no question about oh, it. Oh, I love that group. Yeah, they're very good with that. So it looks like we will have the anthem. Let's see if we can stand up as well. We ask at this time. Yeah, we will. Well, Second time in a row. Can we do it? Probably not. We can do that. <laughs> I guess so. Oh. Of our national anthem. Whoa, that is. Uh, I'm saying. <laughs> you stay right there. I got semi stand here.
We're just about ready for game action coming our way here tonight as we get a chance to have basketball fun. Nice work there, Coach. I might have pulled the hamstring. I uh, know. Man, I'm sure I did. Once they squeeze me in under this, it's hard to get out from under. It would be a challenge for a 25-year-old, Coach. Here we go. Our starting lineup. Let's listen in. The Chargers will be introduced first. I do believe. Nobody does it any better. Enjoy As we get our public uh, uh, announcements, of course, from now, Pat Wilson, PA man. Our starters, our starters for both teams. St. Charles, Charles East has only won three games this year. They almost knocked off Batavia last our time. Starter, number three, Michael Weaver. Michael Weaver for the Fighting Saints is a senior, 6 1. Our second starter, number 10, AJ Gaka. A.J. Gossa, Alan Gossa, his first name, a senior. Kind of the sparkle of the team Our at the point guard. Star, number 12, it should be Stephen Call. Call. We saw him. We, of course, broadcast the St. Charles East Thanksgiving tournament. 12. The, number 12, Our yeah, yeah, yeah but Stephen Call. Number 24, Felton McKaslin. Uh, 24 does not concur with me there. Felton, look for a Felton and first name. Kelton, number 24 is number Raul 25. Orr. And Orr is uh, uh, announced that Gore, Raul Gore, he's number 30. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that is your starting five. Team, Weaver, Garza, Call, uh, McCaslin, and Gore. Four, Zachary, Randall. Zachary Randall gets the starting assignment for Dundee Crown. They have their fans in front of us here. Our second starter, number five, Zach Riza. Zach Riza is also a starter. He's a forward. Our third starter, number 10. Jason Huber. Jason Huber, that's the coach's son. He averages about 11 points a game. Our fourth starter, number 23, Kenneth Cook. And number 23, uh, Kenneth Our Cook. You said he was good, number coach. Hunter Guyon. And Hunter Guyon. So Guyon, Cook, Huber, Rizzo, Randall. He's your five. Looks like I left somebody out, Huber. Huber. So there we have it. The other side of things, Weaver, Garza, Paul, McCaslin, and Gore. It's going to be a loud crowd in front of us, Coach. No question about that. Yeah, it is. And a standing crowd to our right. So we might be calling the game off a monitor as you would at home. I saw Sean Harrington doing a game. He was at home doing the color commentary for one of the ESPN games. He's a regional really? man. Yeah, he's down in North Carolina. He's in the Sun Belt. He has been a very fine announcer. Sean uh, Eric had a class at 99 Elgin High class of 2003 for Illinois, doing yeah. very good, but he was at home watching it just like we would right here. And, 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 and commentary, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's great. Here no mask on these players. Now we're ready. Basketball heads our way, yeah. out of bounds it goes. Yep. It's going to belong to St. Charles. And you know East. what? There's no mask on these officials or the players. Maybe we yes. won't have a mask timeout uh, this uh, well, game. Again, what do you think? The, well, I know <laughs> you got you got a wager on that, I know. Here we go. Let's see how the Dundee Crown plays good defense. They're in their man to man. Down. Oh, throw it away. And get a turnover right away. Dundee Crown's a nice defensive ball club. So they turn it over, the Chargers do. And we'll try once again here. Now we're going to bring it up, and that's going to be for them. Uh, Zachary Randall handles the basketball Saint first. St. Charles is in the zone. Randall, will he break that zone out on top? He doesn't. They'll work it around There's to Cook. Pass. Cook is a good player, as you said. Cook's got it down low, does he not? Cook fakes it up. No shot. Tap, no. Rebound, tapped around, taken back, and no, uh, rejected. What action right there, Coach. Nice like defense. Like 0 for 4 shooting. Nice defense. It was St. Charles East for the basketball. The Fighting Saints. Longtime member, of course, of the Upstate Eight as they've traveled to Duquesne now. And a three hit. That was uh, hard to see those numbers. Who was that out there? I know. Far, far right. Can't read it. No, no, oh, it's going to be Huber. Huber, the three. Ten. No, uh, ten, ten on the other way. Okay. Ten. That would be Garza. Gaga. Yeah. Gaga. Yeah. Gaga. I like it. G A C A. Gaga. That's your baby talk, isn't There's it? There's Huber. Huber, no. Rebound taken down by St. Charles East. Again, they're playing better late in the year, playing a very tough competition they are. They got some nice ball players. They got good size. Yeah, Weaver with it. 
Dish it out, actually. Weaver has it now. Weaver fakes right, goes left into the lane, might have traveled. Backward dish he goes. Near side dish is going to go now to their man. That would be Clark. In the lane, bouncing down, he's open. Shot up, no. Rebound taken down by the Chargers. They'll bring it up. Huber to their big guy. Hey, a perfect pass, if you will. And basket count should be made by Zach Weiser. I don't know if you get an assist when the ball's knocked out of yeah, your hands boy. and it goes to another man or not. You've seen everything, should you? I don't know who that gets that assist, yeah. Yeah, yeah I get to be the team assist. I guess like a team <laughs> rebound occasionally. So Riza to the free throw line. Zach is a 6'4 lad in class of this year, 2022, Thank if you're you. charting at home. This one, swish. So the lead now, or we'll the 3-3 three, three tie, it goes and we'll bring it up. St. Charles East will bring it up. Fighting Saints. Dish it off they do. Weaver. Weaver. Bounce it to Stephen Call. Call down low. Far side. Dribble drive. Right block. Back out on top. Call a two shot that doesn't go too hard. Rebound taken down by those guys and wise up. And they bring it up. Huber. Double team in an area we can't see. You'll, you'll see that angle right there more than we will. We've got all those kids standing in front of us. So you're looking at a good view, and we'll play it off of that. As they'll inbounding, it will be for uh, Dundee Crown. And let's see how we're going to do it here. Foul, let's take it oh, it's foul there, Coach. St. Charles, number 24, Helton McCaslin. Uh, Dundee Crown's got some good size on the floor. Three yeah. kids at 6'4". That's pretty good size out there. St. Charles East has some nice size players. So Crown will inbound, actually. Crown inbounds, the Chargers do. They get it to Riza. Riza, the point man. Dish it off to Huber, coach's son. Big number 23, that's Cook. Cook, a very fine player. A long shot, not good there. Taken by Huber. And here comes St. Charles East. Throw it away. Last touch by, however, a uh -oh. charger. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, we got it. Uh, I, I saw somebody, I, I saw a charger touch it, I think. He, he called it right the second time. Yeah. Because you, you saw your wince from this distance. Inbounding quickly. There's a three. It's swish. The three is going to go. That was put in by Drew. Boy, you Cook. can't read those numbers, can you? No. Well, oh, it's Gore. Gore's changed, Gore changed his number. It's Gore, number 32, coach. He's a big guy. Uh, he's on your St. Charles East roster. It's Gore. Gore. Well, ooh, Gore is 32 there. He, he was 30 officially, but we're hearing from that he's Raul Gore. He's 34 instead of 30, huh? No, he's 32, coach. 32, 32. I don't see a 34 out there. Okay. I, I saw him as 32, but it's hard to see the number of dimension at the 32. Up in, yes! That should be Clark, is it not? Jason Huber. Huber, I should say. Huber with that. Got that off their defense. 6 5. The count is. St. Charles in the road color uniform. Pick out on top. Can they get a shot away? Far side around the horn. Dribble drive on the right block. Pulling out of bounds. Tries to bounce off somebody. Can't do it. And Crown will bring it up. The Chargers have it. In a while they lose the basketball. Breakaway about a three on two at least, or thereabouts. It slows up there. Man wide open on this side. Can they get the basketball to him? They cannot. Cook's Boy. trying to make a foul. That you can see that coming. Cook had given up the ball. He had it stolen from him down at one end. And he came up and it was like he was going to foul. He just yeah. was so itching to foul to get back. That was kind of a frustration foul that time by Cook. Or Cook, a good player you like there. And we walk it off a little bit. He fouled Gore. Inbounding East. Shot might come quickly here, it doesn't. Out on top, Weaver with it, Weaver. Back out to the point guard, it goes, near side dish. Back down to Gore, Gore's a shooter and a driver. Gore, a fall away, Jay rejected. Oh, nice block, nice block by, by Cook. Cook. Here comes Cook, Cook in the lane. Cook a wild trip up court, no sir. Another turnover. Here it is, the other way, St. Charles East, land of three for Gore. No, rebound, taken down by Dundee Crown. And Guyon, Hunter Guyon. Man, we got action, coach. 
Uh, Not a lot of great shooting, but a lot of action. Cook's having a hard time handling the ball tonight. Couple turnovers. Huber. Yeah, far side goes Randall. Around, oh, they lose it again. But they get it back out of our line of sight. You see it right there battling. Might have stepped out of bounds or fouled. He stepped out of bounds, it looks like, Coach. And so it, we had three turnovers in a matter of about 10 seconds there. So it's the officials' timeout with that. We've got 6-5 the lead for St. Charles as that timeout takes place right there. And we'll have a timeout you, as we get a chance you to You can't get turnovers that fast at Dunkin' Donuts. That's right. They have new bites for you right now. Custom heating and cooling, yeah, we're hearing from custom heating and cooling. For all your heating and cooling needs, count on custom heating and cooling of Chicagoland, featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at customheating.com. Custom heating and cooling, powered by Bryant. Whatever it takes, Coach. Uh, so, so far, we're seeing the game is marred, marred by turnovers rather than baskets. We have more turnovers than baskets, so let's hope that turns around here as the kids settle down. You know, it's early in the playoffs. Got to get their bearings, and let's hope that it play smooths out a little bit here. We're going to tell folks where they can find this. Go, to, go up to Beacon Academy on YouTube. Should be able to get that all right. <coughs> Thanks for appearing as folks right in front of us. You should be able to do that real easy as we make our arrangements for our broadcast here, and the music begins to hollow your way. There we go. go. It's loud, so we enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, but... Let's see if the kids settle down a little bit now. The, both teams turnover prone early on, and they're just getting their bearings. They are indeed, as we settle in right here. Let's see how they play it as we bring the basketball up. Far side, four east, dribble drive, they bounce on the near side, seem to get a good shot away here. They're playing the Peruna right now. There's another drive, spin around, body falls down, nothing called, you heard the moans. Land a three, coach. Immerbit, no, rebound, no one, everyone. Taken down by east, we're doing it again. It's a swish, it's a three point play that goes by Stephen Call. Stephen Call. Call. You Take called. Charles on top by a count of nine to five. You called his number. Nine to five. He's, yeah, call makes the call. We're working nine to five right now. Yes, we are. We've moved Cook out in front. He's been at the high post, but he's having trouble with the ball in there. And they're playing good defense. St. Charles up. East is up yeah. with this game. Yeah, they're, they're going after it. They've played. They've played a tough schedule. There's no question about it in the Duquesne. You, you know, St. Charles East got a fine program, and they've had a God awful year, but this could make their whole year right now. Yeah. So they, they've got an outstanding program, and they're going to do everything they can to make it all happen here at the end. You said this would be a good game. It's turning on to doing just that call. Down low, no rebound. Taken down nicely there by number 35, and they'll bring it up. 35 is Guyon with the board. Far side with the basketball. They get it down low to Guyon. Shot, no. They can't make those close ones go in, can they? No. And here quickly up court, they'll bring it. Rivera with it for a while. Here's the land of three wide open on the right side. No. Board taken down by Gore, but he lost it. Last touch by Gore, it looked like. So it no, will it remain. A, it will remain with It's going to be St. Charles ball. All right, St. Charles ball. I think so. that was. Yeah, went the other way. All right, so St. Charles ball it is. It was last touch by Huber. All right, we'll go with Huber. The coach's son, we're jockeying for position. 143 remain first quarter. If you joined us, second game of the night here from Larkin High School in Elgin, Illinois. Exciting basketball. Larkin, a big 91-46 winner in the opening in the lid lifter of the night over Streamwood. We have conversation. I don't think we're going to see 91 points this game, Jeff. Perhaps not, that. Coach. Maybe total. Yeah, that's right. Oh, well, here we go. There's a long... That was a long inbound pass of the night, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a Josh was... Allen pass. Yeah. <laughs> it was indeed. Here's a breakaway. Another turnover. It's Guyon. He'll dish it back. Let's see if they can handle it now. Should be Gore with it now. For, for I should say, 32. They'll bring it back out as they Guyon with it, and that would be uh, DeSilvo in there. Around the horn into that mystery corner. They get it down low, maybe. Save it, they do. Can they finally get it down low? They will. And throw Another it away. Another turnover. Man. 
Everybody Man, touch the basketball. You don't there. have to go to Dunkin' Donuts for your turnovers tonight. Here's St. Charles East with a jumper. It does not go. That was Bory with the three. Good box out by Dundee Crown. That and, went over his back. And Dundee Crown will bring it up. The Chargers will bring it up. Substitutions mass coming our way here. Three for the Chargers. One for St. Charles East. Catch these numbers as we run on the, the go there. Uh, Dakota Jackson, another Dakota comes our way. Another Number Dakota. 13 is in there. Number 10 is Jason Huber. He's all, he was in there originally. And we'll catch the other numbers as they begin to rotate. Number four is Randall. He's also a starter. 23 must be back in. That would be Cook or didn't go out, but they did change three. And I think I see a 32. That would be Silvo. They work it around the horn looking for the shot. Not easily there. Yeah. Cook it's back at that high post. Ooh, a blind Good pass. pass. That was a blind. No. They're having trouble with those short shots. Yeah, that was a nice dish from Cook off it the was high indeed. post. Bory had it out on the wing. Oh, Tim side. didn't even look for a shot. Yeah. He had a bullet pass there, though. Yep. That would have been uh, yeah, AJ. AJ. It was Gaga. Didn't look for a yeah. shot at all. Now we got a charge. Um, <laughs> Gabriel Rivera will check in. Four, Crown, should say. Gabriel Rivera. There's a Gabriel checks in. And here we go. A lot of substitutions. Not much scoring here. 9-5 it is. We're down to 20 plus seconds. First quarter and action. We're still working 9-5. to five. Yes, we are. They're going to remake that movie. I do believe. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure every character is only about 91 years old. So we'll yeah. Back. Here Do we go. Dolly still looks good. <laughs> Final shot time. Oh. He didn't advance it forward. It's a turnover. Another turnover. I'll have a blueberry <laughs> this time. I had cherry last time down the floor. Dundee Crown is king of the turnovers, we're finding out here in this first we quarter. Had a baker's dozen already. <laughs> yeah, they had a lot. Oh, 8.6 seconds. Coach second. Huber talking to the official. I don't know if he's talking about turnovers or what. It's going to be uh, Gore. Gore with the final shot, I think. Another no, charge. Went. No, he get a block this time. He's fouled. I think Cook fouled him. You see, is that what you see? No, uh, number four. Uh, Randall. Randall. Four. Randall. Randall. All right, not in the action. He was shooting. trying to draw the charge. Still, Didn't get quite set. Still stuck on the nine to five work day here. Inbounding, they do. Did they get a shot in? Shot? Yeah! Oh, nice inbounds play. Nice one. That it. was well executed by St. Charles East. That's a nice quarter for St. Charles East. Uh, Dundee Crown's got to settle down. Do we want to get in this game? It's 11-5, the count with that basket made by St. Charles East. They lead 11-5 in the low scoring first quarter. Our first quarter ending here. We'll be back with more right after this. And this quarter, right. this quarter sponsored by the good folks of Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. If you're looking for a brand new or certified pre-owned, it's Rosen Express Online, buying made simple. Go to RosenHyundai.com and Genesis of Algonquin.com. Coach? Well, 11 to 5, not much scoring. Uh, neither team's really settled down, I don't think, into their best game. But St. Charles East is on top because of They've taken advantage of some turnovers and and scored some buckets after those turnovers by the Chargers. Chargers, you know, I tell you, if they bring their A game, they're tough. If they don't bring their A game, <laughs> that's what this looks like. So let's hope they turn it around a little bit here, make a game of this. Huber with it out on top. Cook the dribble drive. He's been cold early. No, he can't get that basket. He's got a rebound again. Ooh, tried to. Put it up over his head, if you will, with his back to the basket yeah. and drew a foul. That's one way to do it. Yeah, Cook's an outstanding player. He's had trouble so far tonight oh, with uh, that high post and getting several turnovers. But, boy, he's strong going to the basket. He is. That, that was a nice move. He went with the right hand there. He's left-handed, but he was able to get the rebound and go back up. So Ken and Cook would do that. I guess we call that a, a back foul on that one. A Cook at the line. See if he get his 
squad some points. And he misses that. He's having a struggle for a while, isn't he? He's had a good season. You've seen him in action over the years. He's played well. Just can't get, uh, you know, in full gear here early, I guess, Coach. Yeah, he had an injury late in the year. I think it was his ankle, so he's just coming off of that injury. Missing them both. Of course, that didn't have anything to do with missing those two free throws. Nope. St. Charles East will bring it up. They lead by six. They haven't won many this year, but playing a tough conference. Down deep, they work it. Land oh, of three. Yes. Oh, Land that of three. That was well executed by St. Charles. They got that ball inside and then out. And when you can go inside out, those threes become awfully easy. That's Jack Borey with the three. There's Cook, blind pass oh, nice down deep, pass. yeah. It's gonna be a basket put in by Zach Weiser. And Cook made a nice pass to that, and Weiser finished it off. 14 to seven. Very loud crowd here for the second game. Spin move, it's gonna be a man named Gore, Raul Gore. Deep. No, not there, rebound, Cook. See if Cook comes alive now offensively. He'll bring it up. Here's he hippity hops and skips across the line. Yep. Throws it into the deep corner and did he throw it away? No, last touch by a fighting saint. They'll inbound in forecourt, near side, almost out of our line of sight here. As you see the crowd, the Dundee crowd youth group standing, if you will. Inbounding, they do. Get it out on top. Cook, Cook wants to do it again. Cook outside now. Says, I'm going to find my game, he says. Around the horn. In, uh, there's going to be a shot maybe here. Oh, it's Cook. Cook in the lane. No, but he's going to, oh, a charge. Cook has not found his game yet, coach. That's two fouls. Cook oh, is cold right now. Cook. And he might, is he going to come out? Entering he will. Yep. That's his second foul. So he goes out. Cook does. It looks like uh, Hunter Guyen checks back in. Number 35, I think, threw back Three, in there. Charles, 23, Bradley, One number you can't read really easy. The other number is like Petit. I know. The, the smallest number they've seen in a while in front. Yeah. And there's a dribble drive. No. Back around the horn. Where will the shot come from for the Fighting Saints? Down deep, the big guy. Up and in. Well done by all means on that one. That's number 24 for the Saints. Nice post feed. St. Charles East has really got their game together this quarter. That's Kelton McCaslin, uh, number 25 in the roster, but 24 in the game. It's a 16-7 count. Lava tall. Can Guyan get a shot away? He's going to be fouled, it looked like. Looks like Hunter Guyan going to the line. He's 6'4 and a class of 22. Was he in the end? Gore, the foul, G-O-R. Raul, the first name. And not in the act of shooting, so he's not going to shoot there. That's a non-shooting foul. Huh? Yeah, well, it I like thought he was going to go to the line. We must have saw the continuation somehow. I guess so. There's Geyer again around the horn. They'll work it for Dundee Crown. Can they get a shot away? Dakota Jackson with it. Backwards, he dishes now. He goes to Huber. Huber's a good score of not many shots for him. They'll get it to Riza. The Huber, he's a key man. Oh, way off, but it's tracked down there in the corner yeah. by Dundee Crown. And Ryer almost thought about a shot, didn't do it. Back it goes now, looking around the horn. Randall, shot no, rebound, battled for, and it's going to go about to St. Charles East. Playing a great game, St. Charles yeah. East is early. Huber's uh, 0 for 3 on those threes right now. He, he needs to loosen up a little bit. If he gets, he, He's a nice three-point shooter. Just not so far tonight. Here comes a three for St. Charles East. No, the board, Borey. Borey back up, a tough shot, yeah. It's Jake Borey for two. Jack it's Borey off the that. bench. That's a nice wow. job. 18-7. And we have a timeout at that marker. 18-7 it is. That's the score, not the year, with a lead, surprisingly, by St. Charles East early. The Saints are marching in right now. <laughs> That's right. We're going to take a uh, we'll hear from one of our great sponsors here. Tom the Plumber comes to mind. Tom the Plumber. You should you read Tom the Plumber. Can you do it, Coach? Tom the Plumber, Inc. is a family-owned and operated company. 
committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumbering.com. Well done, Coach. You're available for parties, aren't you? <laughs> well, it's been, as you said. I've met Tom. He's been at my house <laughs> That's right, only a, once, and he hasn't had to come back. A fabled story. He does it once, and he does it right. That's right. So, it, uh, again, it's a struggle for his points on, yeah, on behalf of the Chargers, isn't it? We're getting uh, close to Mardi Gras time, right? Yeah. So, well, these Saints are marching in tonight. I'll <laughs> That's tell right. You, this is... Uh, uh, this is a nice effort for them at this point in time. And if Dundee Crown doesn't get their act together here real quick, this game's going to expand on them. So Huber needs to get warmed up a little bit, hit, knock down a couple of those threes. They need to eliminate so many turnovers. They want to get back in the game. St. Charles East zone is really stopping uh, the penetration by Dundee Crown. And... At the other end, St. Charles East has effectively run their offense several times now in this quarter. Very effective. Huber inbounds to Dakota Jackson. Jackson back to Cook. He has been Cook's quiet. Cook's back in the game with yeah. his two fouls. He, he has going to have to play smart. He hasn't got to start yet. Yeah, he's staying out on top. Down deep to work the big guy down there. Shut up. No. Tap. No. Rebound. Cook. Yeah. Uh, Cook the board. Two, two, Cook the point. Cook. Cook is a monster. When he comes to play, he is really tough. He does play tall. Here comes St. Charles. He's still leading 18-9. He's got to be smart now and not pick up that third foul. Yeah. Oh, knocked it away. Yeah. Oh, stolen. He was involved in the steal. Land of three. Angle left. Yes! Yes! It's a three oh, by no. Huber. That one for Cook, four. Cook and Huber. Those are the two that had to do it. A 5 nothing run. By Dundee Crown. Let's see how St. Charles East will respond. Out on top of the basketball. Second quarter action. Don't foul out there. Dish it near side to Gore. Don't Gore foul, in the lane. Don't foul. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there it was. Cook the foul. You told him don't foul, coach. Cook on the floor, a foul. He'll you come right out again. You'll come out again. He'll come out again. see it coming. Wow. Good aggressive play, but he, as you said, stay away on that one. Cook six with two points and three fouls. Here's the three shot by Huber, coach. Yeah, that was a nice touch. He's a great outside shooter. He's a, he's a great shooter. He needs to let it rip. Tyler De Silvia will check in. Coach Huber's talking to the official a little bit. I don't think he liked that last call on Cook. Oh, I don't think so either. But they missed the shot. Let's see if Huber will remain hot. He can give some, put some points on the scoreboard. Here's the question right now. Yes! Yes! yes. A back to back three for Huber. 18 15. You got it. They've scored eight we points got, in a we row. We got two Hubers hot. Yeah. One on the three point shot, the other one on the officials. <laughs> So, Knocked out of bounds, another so timeout. Dundee Crown is right now Huber Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a timeout in a loud venue here at the Palace at Larkin High School in Elgin, Illinois. St. Charles East with a timeout. We're here again from one of our great sponsors. I think it's time we check in with Daryl Barnes. His great photography, of course, is timeout sponsored by Daryl Barnes Photography. For portraits, family, and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more, contact Daryl Barnes Photography at Daryl Barnes. Dot com coach it's been a swing right there wasn't it, it was 18 to 7. yeah it point. was and then cook and huber ignited this uh dundee crown team unfortunately cook threw that third foul and he was being very aggressive i, I don't know that it uh, you know we would want him to play that aggressive going after that loose ball but when you got two fouls early you got to be careful there's your dundee crown fandom the, the students right in front of us a little bit they're this, dancing DC has a yeah. great following. I want to tell you, if, if they they really follow their team and they really get into it. I always love when we play against DC, and of course I love, maybe you don't know, here's a trivia question of the night. Who was the first boys basketball coach at Dundee Crown? You. You got it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! So, they have a great following, and their kids really get into it. Wow. Well, there's more of the great cloud here. We've got our cameras rolling along there, so if, you were, if you're watching live, you see yourself. If you're watching via recording, pick yourself out. Yep. Here we go. 
So let's see right, how. Let's see if. Uh, after the 8 nothing run it yeah, is. Yeah, let's see if Coach Woods got him settled down a little bit here. Let's see what happens with the basketball. He's in a 1-3-1 one, one zone now. A.J. with it. They switched Back over to, to the Cole. zone. Back to A.J. In the corner, out on top. A.J. will run the point. Does again. Into the corner. Land of three. Yes. Yes. Was that Gore? That's Eddie Herrera. Yep. It's hard to see those yep. numbers, all right. Eddie Herrera with it. So it, it ends the run there. 21 15 the lead. Still with St. Charles East. That was their first point since it was 8 nothing run by Dundee Crown. Dribble drive there, no advantage. That was Huber. Down low. They work on it. And Vasco goes out of bounds. Last touch by, it looks like, St. Charles East. So Dundee Crown win bound underneath their own hoop. It's a noisy palace here at Larkin High School on the school night, Wednesday night. Inbounding, looking, looking, taking his time, coach. Looking and looking. How long do we have? Backward dish, land of three. No, air ball. S tried to save there, nicely done, but it wasn't. That was a great attempt to save by Hunter Guyon, who was a leaping guy on that one. Yeah. Here we go, 21-15. Let's see after the timeout by Coach Woods. Have they stabilized the set to keep the big lead? That's going to be a bounce, a kick, if you will. It'll be inbounding far side in forecourt for St. Charles East. East will inbound. They'll work it out on top now. A.J. runs the point. He's going to be double teamed. They get it near side to, to Bory. Bory in the corner. Back out on top. A.J. around the horn. Land Good the three. Another movement. one. No. He's Good ball that. movement by the Saints. Here they come. Huber with it. Stops. Looks. Dishes. Stolen. Stolen the other way. It's a two on one breakaway, kind of. No. Rebound. Held ball, it looks like. Held ball over. Held in the ball is. Arrow points for St. Charles East. A lot of action, coach. Huber got back and played good defense after Jones. that turnover. A lot of times after a turnover, a kid will go back Entry and commit a foul. But he got back and got in front of the driver and stop that uh, offensive play. So inbounding it will be the Saints. A.J. the inbound. Gets it near side. Borey for three. Rim it. No. Borey taken down there nicely by De Silva. And they'll bring it up. Dundee Crown does. Can they get the three game going again? Land of three. Left side air ball. Oh, wow. But taken down by Dakota. Can he get the shot away? He is going to be traveling. Wow. Wow. Dakota. Jackson was working hard, coach. He made every move in the book, but I guess he eventually traveled. Uh, no, well, we had an air ball in the travel, so that's right. I guess he traveled by air. <laughs> that's right. That's like you and your trips. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Lead of six by St. Charles East. They've led by one, as many. 1-3-1 zone again for D.C. Has 11. Let's see if this all affect the zone. They can shoot from outside. This will be short. No, oh, it's right there. It is there. Another three. That's Roy, that's Gore. Gore. He, I thought that was going to be a little short, but whether if they hit those threes, they can beat anybody, can't they, Coach? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Certainly in a low-scoring game, anyway. Absolutely. Let's see how we play it here. Cook, he's got three butts. There's a Huber. No. Rebound. Guyon. Hunter back up. No. Rebound. St. Charles East. The little guy comes away with it. He'll bring it up. It's Bory. Bory with it. Brings it far side. Gore gets his man in here. Gore again. Yes. Oh. Gore another. Gore is hot. Looks like Gore. that timeout by Coach Gore. Woods really turned this team it's, around. It's now back. It was once an 11 point lead. Now it's 12 after they came back. Yes. They've had a great run here. They have St. Charles East. Uh, play tough competition during the season. Down deep, it's Guyon. Hunter is going to be fouled for two shots. And the crowd in front of us, they're Dundee crowd. They like that call. So 27 15, somewhat of a surprise. But as you said, down the stretch, St. Charles East was playing much better basketball. And yep. they held Batavia to only a 50 44 loss in a recent game. Here's the replay coming away, Coach. Here's a free throw live. Now custom heating and cooling. Here's the three by Gore. He got nice. his man in the air. And little pump fake. He was shooting to a twine nice that was shot. twisted. Did you see that? Nice the net shot. was twisted on that one. He still yes, got it. Yes, it was. If he missed, he would claim, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't right. First shot is, was no good. This one is good. So the basket's good there by Guyon. Uh, free throw, 27-16. You see it. 
We're down, boy, through the quick first half. We're down under a minute in this first half. Really snappily played. back to man to man now. This might be too far out. No, oh, oh. Gore again. It's Raul oh, Gore putting Raul on a show. Gore is unbelievable. Wow. He'll make the statewide highlight reel on this. Wow. Three for Gore. Here's a dribble drive. Bounce it down low. It's Guy nice on pass. in. 30 to 18. Final shot time now. 23 seconds remain in the first half. AJ across the timeline right now. Man to man again. They'll take their time before they get the shot away. They lead by 12. You know Gore wants this bad. Yeah. Oh, Gore. Yeah, he does. Not here. We're down to 10. He wants to go to the other side. He needs help. He'll get it out. It's going to be dribble drive. It's a shot. No. But a foul. Probably whistle a foul or a travel. What is it? It's a travel, it looks like. He called a jump ball, Jeff. Wow, that was quick, wasn't it? That was really quick. 3.1 seconds remain. 30 to 18 is the count. The lead, St. Charles East in the dark plaid uniforms. Dundee Crown in the home white uniforms. We have the length of the court to go in 3.1 seconds. Here we go. It's Huber. Huber for three. No. Oh, my. That's where we stand at the end of the first half of play. A, a fun, fun first half it was. 30-18 the count is what we have right here. So we get to halftime. Coach, a couple thoughts from you, then we'll send it back to, out of here. For, we have a replay of the foul. Coach, you're looking on this. Custom heating and cooling. He is warmed up, isn't he? He could have got a four-point play on yeah. that. They let that foul go. They did. Yeah. Uh, Cruz said it was there, but that was just a three. Gore made three threes to really take over that second quarter after uh, uh, Dundee yeah. Crown got back with it close. Yeah. Well, when they got close and St. Charles East got a nice timeout by Coach Woods and it just turned it around all of a sudden and it gets that 1-3-1 one, one zone. Gore got hot. They hit those outside shots. DC had to come back out in a man-to-man. -man. DC isn't going to come back in this game with Cook on the bench, so they're going to have to get him in there. He's got three fouls. He's had to be smart. You have to be smart when you go out there. Your team needs you. You can't go out and get a silly foul right away. So that's where we stand here at the half, 30 to 18, with St. Charles East on top of Dundee Crown. We'll take a timeout. Be back with second half action coming away in just a little bit.
If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. Jordan knows he shouldn't eat this entire bowl of nachos, but tonight he's earned that right. Because a few hours ago in the middle of happy hour, he recognized a sign. Not from the gods or a bolt of lightning, but from a double heart, a kissy face, and a fourth ha in ha ha ha. That's when Jordan knew he was buzzed. So when it was time to go, he got a ride home instead of driving. Be a legend like Jordan. Recognize your buzzed warning signs and get a ride home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. <laughs> yeah, we have a, we're, we're seeing.
We are talking. Don't we got it? Don't forget. Don't forget this game brought to you by our season sponsors, the Bear Family McDonald's proud supporters. As you know well, uh, since 1967, stop by and get a chance for the, the great McDonald's restaurants they have. Rose Lundy of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin also bring us the third quarter looking for a brand new or certified pre owned. It's Rosen Expressway Online, buying made simple. Go to rosenhunday.com and Genesis of Algonquin in Algonquin, we should say. Hey, a happy birthday goes out. One of the great fans here want us to say hello to Stephen Call's granddad, Brandon. He turned 75 years old today. So Stephen Call's granddad, wherever you might be, we say hello to you and happy birthday. He's a little younger than you are, Coach. <laughs> 75, that's Stephen Call's granddad. Back to the game as we do it. As we have a social note, as we'll get ready for action right now. Here we go, 30-18 it is. St. Charles East, the dark uniforms with the tough numbers to see. They lead by that margin of 12. Virgil starting five back in for both teams. Gore! No! Rebound! Taken down! Down deep to no one. It was going to be a turnover there. It should be Dundee Crown's basketball. It is. Tough pass. Good idea, but a tough angle there, Coach. That was. Well, let's start the half with a turnover. Well, let's see what these Let's these see what Cook do. does right here. Cook is always prominent. Cook's back in. Three fouls he has, as we know. Out on top, around the horn, they'll work it. St. Let's Charles in that 1-3-1. One, one. There's a steal. Another steal, another it's a turnover. steal by A.J. A.J. up, no, tap, no, rebound. Take it down by Dundee Crown, back the other way. They missed it that time. Setting up shop, it's going to be for Dundee Crown. They'll bring it up. That's going to be Randall with it. Down deep, oh, they work the it. look score. Then he there, does. He there does. There you go. Yeah. Look there the you score. Go. He put that Zach in. Raza. Look to score. It's yeah, Raza. 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 And that's a 30-20 count now. Let's see how these guys respond. Gore, the man of three, is at four. Down deep to no one. It's Ted's going to be out of bounds. There we go. Dundee Crown. The Another turnover. Swinging towards Dundee Crown here, Coach. That's a two turnovers to start out. Good defense by the Chargers. Let's see if they can capitalize Cook. again. Cannon Cook with it. He's got three fouls. A lazy pass there. Yes, it he, was. He gets it back. Huber Lucky gets it back. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. You know, here's that physical battle here, Coach. Nice pass Oh, by and a Cook. foul. They're going to foul Zach Riza again. And Zach will go to the free throw line. Cook's a nice passer off that high post. He look, he, that was a no-look pass. And Riza back at the line. Let's see if they can hit a free throw. He'll go to that line. I'm sure Coach cringing a little bit every time Cook goes to that you know, deep into that, but yeah. with that three fouls, the fourth will get him out there immediately again. First one's good. That's a three nothing run so far for Dundee Crown to open up this second half. They trailed by 12 at the half. So they'll try once again here to cut into that lead. Second toss. Incredible sound effects down there. Don't we just find out. Cook, Cook, Cook the nice boards. board. Cook has it rejected. Cook gets it back. He can't get the shot away. Here come the Fighting Saints. Almost a travel. Down deep. No, there's going to be a land of three. No board. Taken down by Guyon. Here they come. Dundee Crown trailing only by nine. Cook with three fouls out on top. Fish it right side. Back to Cook in the middle. Goes left side. Right back to Cook in the middle. What do we call it here, Coach? Cook one on one? He wants to get at that high post, I think. Yeah, and Orlando, oh, is it going to be? Yeah. Yes. The basket goes for Orlando. Orlando. We should almost have a timeout here. Timeout, we would think. Let's see how they do it. They don't. 30 24. Six in a row. It is indeed. Let's see how the Saints respond. Chargers in their man to man defense. Land of three, way out. That's so far out for shooting now. Those are tough. You never make those. Uh, those are way out. Into a bad shot. Here they come. Up court. Huber brings it. Huber to Cook. Cook in the lane. Blind oh. pass down deep. Almost two out the handle. Goes off the shin that of St. Charles. <laughs> that pass, that was a great pass. Just couldn't hold on to it. That's a good no-look pass again. Guy Cook, almost had it. Cook's pretty good magician at the top of he that is. key. Blind pass, a bullet it was. Yep. Inbound. A little too much on it. Slap of the basketball. Can they get it into the big guy? They go out on top. It's taken there. Down deep. Shot up and in. 8 0 run. Guy in the basket. Timeout right there. As you heard the coach say it, an 8 0 run by the Chargers. They trail only by 4. 30 to 26 and a timeout right here. St. 
Charles. That's a turnaround from the first half, wasn't it? Well, so it was indeed. Now, now they brought their their A game here the second half. So we'll see, as I said before the game, when they're on, they're really good. They're just not always on. Yeah, they've come out strong. Well, custom heating and cooling for all your heating or cooling needs. Count on custom heating and cooling of Chicagoland. Featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at customheating.com. Custom heating and cooling, powered by Brian. Whatever it takes, Coach. Hey, we got a ball game. We came out in, what was it, 30 to 12 at halftime? 30, 30, I'm sorry, 30 18, 18, 18 yeah. at halftime. And we've got an 8-0 run. Coach Woods called a timeout. The last time he called a timeout, things turned around dramatically in St. Charles East favor. So let's see what this timeout does. Gore was magnificent for the Fighting Saints with his threes. He's got 12 points. Yes. They missed a couple of threes since then and turned the basketball over a couple of times as well. So let's see how it goes for St. Charles East from the Duquesne Conference. And of course, Fox Valley and uh, Dundee Crown the opposition here tonight. The winner will play Larkin on Friday night. The game we'll have here on Beacon Academy coming away Friday night in that seven o'clock time frame. DC back in their man-to-man -man defense. Gore with it. Gore's not gonna shoot. He get, hands it off. They want to get back to Gore. Another turnover. It is. They want to get it back to Gore, I think, and it was knocked around. It's gonna be. There we got three turnovers already by St. Charles, or that may be their fourth turnover this quarter. Here comes Cook playing with three fouls. Almost a point forward, isn't he, with that basketball the way he runs it. A point front line man. Cook in the lane, dish it off. Let's see what they do with it. Can they get it back? Cook wants it back. They can't get it. Huber might get no Cook again. Cook to Huber. Huber might take a shot. No. Huber down deep. Look it the goes. score. Guyon, Guyon get in the lane. Boy. No. Guyon the board. Get up. Guyon there will you be go. Found. Hunter Guyon to the line for two. DC got the ball inside, took it right to the rim. It's good physical play coming your way in this regional on this night. Yeah, Hunter Guyon, that's what you do when you get the ball inside. You take it to the rim, force the other team to foul. As opposed to the NBA, kick it back for three is what yeah. you're saying. I didn't say that, Jeff, yeah, well, but you know <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Uh, first one is made by Guyon, so it's a three-point lead. That's why you want to get it in at two feet. You go to the rim. This one is swish. 30, 28, 10 points in a row for Dundee Crown in just over three minutes of the third quarter gone. Let's see how it happens now. They want to get it to Gore. That cook on Gore. Gore's running the right, what, timeout. I think a timeout or what? Another uh, turnover. A foul. Is that, well, who's on Gore on a push off? I'm not sure what they called there, but it is a turnover. Was it a foul? Did somebody step out? I think he stepped out. All right. Not for that's, that's a goal. A fifth he stepped turnover out. Turnover yeah. already this quarter. We can tie it. We're we looking at a half dozen turnovers. Yeah, real yeah. quick. Uh, conventional two would tie it. Cook with three fouls, still playing. Tricky dribble. Point forward he is. Cook in the lane. Oh, nice pass. pass. Deep, yes, we are tied. Basket by now, Reza. DC is cooking. Tied at 30. St. Charles East, they're going to dribble drive here. No shot there. Out of bounds again? No. Got a uh, blocking foul. As that sits out of our line of sight, you're seeing that wherever you're watching on Deacon Academy, real easy right there. So it's, got an injury here. Well, an injury it is. That's uh, going to be. Randall, Randall, I think he bumped knees when he got that foul. He, I think he just has to walk it off. Gabriel Rivera will replace him for Dundee Crown. Inbounding, can they do it? Tippy toe look, tippy toe look. They get it inbound. It's Gore. Gore runs the baseline. Line pass. Oh, that was tough. There we go. Oh, another turnover. Dundee Crown could take the lead. Half a dozen turnovers halfway through the third quarter. Rivera with the basketball. Cook the point forward. Cook the three fouls. Bullet pass, Guyon. Rivera, far side. Huber, Huber brings it out. Back to Rivera. Rivera, one dribble. Cook, Cook on top. Out of the right side. Lay to three. Huber, short. Rebound, four. Bring it up and throws it away, but it's caught by Stephen Call. Stephen Call's able to get that. They'll that would have been huge if he could have canned that. Yeah, that would have been. Weaver with it. Weaver down oh, low. Nice pass. Can he shoot? Can he shoot and get it in there? No. Wow. Good board. 
the board Good, works. strong board. Guyon with the board. Again, the second time to take the lead for Dundee Crown. Oh, oh. Huber took his eye off the ball. It out away. of bounds. Oh, he, my. He's like a wide receiver on that one. He yeah. took his eyes off the ball. You can see it. Took Sometimes the anticipation too much, Coach. Yep. Time out there of 318. Remain in third quarter. 30-30 is our tie. We'll take uh, another time out here from our great sponsors we'll hear as we enjoy this broadcast from Larkin High School in Elgin, Illinois. Regional play. Daryl Barnes comes to mind. Coach, you always look good in a photo. I've seen your many photos from your many travels. <laughs> you could be in a hotel window and have a good photo. <laughs> Next time, you should travel with Daryl Barnes. This time, I'm sponsored by Daryl Barnes Photography for portraits, family, and graduation photos. And for Coach on Vacation, sports team photos, and more, contact Daryl Barnes Photography at DarylBarnes.com. Quite a game we've developed here, Coach. Quite a game. We're watching a, a mask timeout with not a soul involved in the game with a mask. So I don't know when that changes. We're getting enunciator. Guyon, I think I've been saying it that way. Oh, what do we got? Guyon, Guyon. A Guyon? G yeah, G-Y-O-N. How else we yeah. say that? Hunter? Guyon. Guyon or Guyon? Guyon like it's an E. All right, who would know that? All right, Guyon. I'm we'll just calling him Hunter. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we'll change the O to E. But we got the fandom right in front of us. We enunciators. I like that. <laughs> That's why we carry out. We and travel uh, with them now. Yeah, you were saying 30-30, and it's been a great comeback. There's nothing better than a parent being five feet away. You know, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> It'll end any broadcaster's <laughs> life, believe me. <laughs> it's awesome. If that was true for Harry, he never would last in 50 years. Oh. Or Lou Goudreau. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Here we go. 30-30 it is. Hunter Guyon and company ready to go. Yeah, there we go. We got it. That's it. As if it's an easy. And then man to man defense again. Bring oh. it up. Let's see what happens. It's been, they haven't scored this quarter. Land of three. That's not going to make it. Rebound battle for. Oh, a foul. Over the back of Huber is one of the St. Good Charles. Box. Good box out. Nice fundamental by Huber. Coach, Coach's son been doing that since he's eight years old, I'm sure. Entering for St. Charles. Number 24. 24. We'll check back in. It's Kelton McCaskin. He's actually 25 on our chart. St. Charles East in a little zone action right now. Cook, Cook Match getting up. aggressive. Cook with three fouls. Dish it off, he will. Rivera, Huber, no. Board, Guyon couldn't get it. And rebounds taken down, and we have a whistle, I think. I think it's Cook. Is Cook a foul? Fourth foul on Cook, is it, Coach? Fourth foul. Mark that down. 2.51 two of the third quarter, yeah, Coach. Yeah. He oh gets man. the foul. He'll have to sit down. That was not a good foul under any circumstance, especially with three fouls. Yeah. Here we go. It's uh, no points so far. see what DC can do without their man out there. They haven't scored. It's Gore. Gore was hot early, but he's double teamed here. Can't he get an easy shot away ever? Out on top. This could be a shot here. Back at Gore. Gore wants to shoot. He'll pass it off instead. Oh, they can't make those free throws. Can't make those easy shots, we should say. They missed the layup. Just too much. Ooh, goes now, out of bounds. DC caught a break on that. Played good defense, but uh, St. Charles worked the ball well and got a layup. Just blew it. Rivera brings it up. Again, One Cook on the zone. Let's bench. see what DC can do against this. They're working around. Randall had it for a moment. Back to Rivera. Back to Randall. They need Huber to get yep. hot. They need to get to Huber right now because he's a scoring option with this, with Cook not in there. Huber, far side. It goes to Reza. Reza, we should say he's Rivera. Open. Huber for three. Yeah. yeah. That was huge. Huber for three. That was huge. First lead of the night, is it not, Coach? Unless it was early. They trail 11 5 at the quarter break, 30 18 at the half. That's 15 in a row. And this one, no rebound. Taken down. They'll go back up, we think. Maybe. Oh. A steal by Huber. Another and turnover for St. Charles East. Randall with it. Randall in four court. Dish it backwards. He does the Huber. Huber looking for the Dish big three again. Go around the screen down low, Huber. Randall, Huber, near side, Rivera. Rivera, the other way. and there's a shot. It is nice gone. shot by the big man, Zach Riza. Riza rose up on that one. Shot. 35 30. It's 17 points in a row. Riza's on defense on him. Nice job defensively by Riza. And they'll bring it up. 
Bring up, it's Huber. A rough trip up court, but he does it. Now to R Randall, we should say. Yeah, go down in this corner, Rivera. Huber. Randall. Here we go. Move the ball, move the ball, move the ball. Rivera, a shot. A oh, nice shot. 30, 8, 30. Gabriel Rivera. It is a 20 nothing run Woo! for Dundee Crown in the third quarter. 20 to zip, coach. And who is Gabriel Rivera? He's the man that just hit that three. He did. Whoa, what a third quarter it is for the Chargers of Dundee Crown. And all the Guyan family is enjoying this moment. No question about that. Well, sir, the game isn't over yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, 20 points in a row. Did you have a string like that? Can you remember a game where you had 20 points in a row? I don't remember. Oh, coach. That's that's a little 20 in a row is unbelievable. Yeah, it is indeed. So with that in mind, we'll just go to a Rosen Reader, as we say. As we said, Rosen Hyundai and Genesis this time out sponsored by Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin. And Genesis of Algonquin, if you're looking for a brand new or sort of like pre-owned, it's Rosen Express Online. Find made simple. Go to RosenHyundai.com or Genesis of Algonquin.com. Rosen, 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 coach. You know, the thing I'm most impressed about is after Cook got his fourth foul, D.C. didn't let down at all. They played great defense, got some turnovers, have knocked down key shots. So when Cook was actually leading them, doing everything in the, in the comeback, he got that fourth foul, and you might expect a letdown, but it did nothing but spark D.C., and they really played well since he... Had to sit down for a little bit. They go to his zone, it looks like, Coach. They being Dundee Crown. Let's see. At least, or, or trailer. Uh, another they're man. They're man. They're man. They're man. They're man. Let's see if a score can come from St. Charles East here. They've been throwing away every time. Another almost. turnover. Stolen DC's in. defense has just taken over. Huber across the timeline. Huber, dish it off. Far side, Randall. Randall to Rivera, who hit the three last time. Rivera goes to Huber. St. Charles East is back in the man-to-man -man now. Huber will dish it off or go all the way. He'll stop and look for a pass. Oh, nice Ooh. pass. No shot he there, though. He didn't go on. They have the lead now, so. Uh, they got 12 fi seconds. Final Going shot time the, the third shot. quarter. Rivera. Rivera forward, backwards. Seven seconds remaining. Rivera with five. Near side dish, Huber with three. Huber will oh, be yeah. fouled. Fouled with 2.1 seconds on the timepiece. It looks like it's going to be a shutout for St. Charles East. They will be shut out in the third quarter. That doesn't have nice any Nice job offense. by the Chargers on making their offense there and getting that last second shot. And Huber drawing that foul. And their defense has just been dominant this quarter. Huber to the line. On the night, he has 11 for Huber. And the crowd hush now as he takes his time for the charity stripe. This one is switched. So a 21 to nothing run. This might be the best run in the state tonight, if you think. 21 zip in the third quarter. You know, that's unbelievable. A team to be losing by 12 at halftime and outscore their opponent. Let's see what it ends up here. 39, 30 it is. One more would make it a 22 zip run. Huber, no. Rebound, it might be more. That's it, right there. So. It is a, whoa, a 21 to nothing run. 21 to nothing wow. after losing at halftime. Losing 11 to 5 12. at the quarter break and 30 to 18 at the half, and now they lead 39-30 at the end of three quarters. That is incredible. It is incredible. That third quarter is his dream. We'll send it back, give you an announcement here, and we're right back for fourth quarter action right here from Larkin High School in just in a minute. Our fourth quarter action sponsored by Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. If you're looking for a brand new or certified pre-owned, it's Rosen Express 
online buying <clears throat> made simple. Go to rosehunday.com and genesisalgonquin.com. I'm getting choked up after a 21 nothing run, Coach. You know, all we really need for the post game, if we had it, is instead of talking to Coach Huber, I just want to replay whatever he said in the locker room at <laughs> halftime. They're, they're ready to be outstanding, <laughs> I, I Coach. I think that might be interesting. And see how we do it. Oh, this, oh, collision. Rivera gets it back. Rivera, they're coming up on tough offense, a defense now for St. Charles East. Rivera will be trailed by two men. Huber, they're really coming at you. Rivera, yeah, they, are. they are hustling. St. Charles East is they're really coming slapping. after him. Is it a foul? Yep. It is a foul. Whistle that probably on St. St. Charles East really sparked right there. They're coming after it hard. On Stephen Call, so Grandpa uh, Brandon will not like that call as he's listening in his 75th birthday. So the foul on call, they'll, they'll continue more action. Play defense here, they will. Man to man, they're being very aggressive. They're trying to double one. Huber, yeah, they certainly have quickened the pace of everything, haven't they? They're scampering out there. Oh. They're using that tough defense. But so far, it's wonderful work for, as soon as he said it, throw it away. Yeah, Too tall for Huber. Over. So yeah. it took 35 seconds, but they do turn it over. So let's see what Charles happens now. East really was aggressive on that defensive end. Were you ever shut out in a quarter in your coaching days, Coach? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think so. All I, right. Shutouts are rare in basketball. In a, in a quarter. <laughs> Not the whole game now, just a quarter. <laughs> Here we go. Gore was hot early. Gore! No! He's the key to game change when he got cold. Yep. And the good play by everybody on Dundee Crown. So it's going to be inbounding. Dundee Crown. We're at the Palace Larkin High School, Elgin, Illinois. Happy you've joined us here in Beacon Academy. The great students of South Elgin, Illinois, yeah, South Elgin High School. Turn it over again. That's two turnovers. Do all the duties. Yeah, another turnover. Have to take oh. better care of the ball. Yeah, they, they want to keep this lead. They don't want to get careless because they do have a lead, and there's not much points being scored by the opposition, so no need to turn it over too often. Let's see what happens here. Can Gore get hot again? Out on top. See where the shot might come from. There's going to be a rare shot from the corner. No rebound. Taken down. They'll do it again. Can he get it back up and in? No. Off the thigh or shin of a, a Dundee crown lad. So inbound enters their own hoop. It will be St. Charles East. That was Michael Weaver who used a body part to get it out of bounds. Weaver will inbound. Lobs it. Is there a shot here? There should be anything handle basketball. No. Can't Another handle basketball. Turnover by St. Charles East. Here DC's they come. Defense come to play Huber again. is going to be fouled. Huber is fouled. And we are, are we at the one and one yet? We are. One and one time. Weaver the foul. Huber the charity line. And it's a 39 30. Yeah, over six and a half minutes to go, and they're already in the one and one. That bodes well for Dundee Crown. Hubert will go to that line, as we said. He swish on that one. Huber on the night now has 13 points. 13 would lead the way for Dundee Crown and now make it a, if you will, a 22 to nothing run in this segment of the second half. This is Swish, a that's 23 amazing. to nothing run. After losing by 12 at halftime, that's the amazing thing about it is. this. 41-30. St. Charles East down by that now after they let the half 30-18. There's a whistle. Let's see what we call here. They're not in the bonus yet in this situation. So a common foul. It will be inbounding underneath their own hoop. It will be for the Fighting Saints. It is on Rivera. And inbounding, it will be Borey back in. And inbounding. Oh, up and down, turned it over. He wanted to shoot out of our line Another of sight. Turnover. He went up and came down with a basketball. You know, now this half we're seeing why St. Charles East is three and whatever for the year. They, they came out and looked like an outstanding ball club the first half. But maybe D.C. just came out took them lightly. Ooh, a travel. There's gonna... a third turnover for D.C. this That's quarter. Riza with the travel. St. Charles is playing tough defense this quarter. If they could only score. 
They, they can't seem to get the ball in the basket. John D. Crown's run is 23 to nothing at this moment in time. This half. In the lane, there might be a shot here or a throwaway. Another Ooh, turnover. This could be Huber. Down deep. Shot up. No follow up. No follow up foul. A third attempt at the hoop. It looks like He's Zach Rise up. Over his back. Oh, he went over the back. Take it away. Remains 41 30. Dundee Crown on top. Coach Huber pleading his case. Doesn't think he was over his back. Uh, he'll lose this. Um, debate with the official. <laughs> he will. Some of the fans are not going to quit easy though here. No. Here we go. Let's see if the string ends man here. Man by DC again. Can they score? St. Charles East. They, are, they have not scored in the second half. They've been outscored 23 to zip. We're in the fourth quarter. 550 remaining. Down deep. This could be it. No. Another they turnover. They can't hang on the basketball. A turnover by the Fighting Saints. Wow. What DC's a game. defense has just taken over. No question about that. Huber will see if he gets fouled here. Gets through two men. Top of the key, backward dish Rivera. Rivera, good ball handler who can shoot. Rivera in the lane, dish it off. Out on top around the horn. Near side, it goes to Riza. Riza to Rivera. Rivera in a crowd, bring it back out. Great dribbling act now. 528 remain. Double team Rivera. Huber. Huber around the horn. Huber waiting to be fouled if he can, and there he it was. is. Huber to the line for one and one. So great ball handling by Dundee Crown. Substitutions coming off the bench for St. Charles East. They bring in three different men. As checking back in for St. Charles East, it's, it's actually, it's Rowan Kinroski, who I haven't seen him all night, number 11, call back in. Maybe he's a shooter. <laughs> and maybe Bory, maybe yeah, maybe someone. he is. He might just say, go in there, kid, see what you can do. Yeah. And they hit that shot. Weaver now with, uh, we should say, Huber. With it looks like he would be 16, would he not? I see six, but we should see short on that one. And knocked out of bounds. Oh, they thought it was last touch by St. Charles East, but no, Dundee Crown. So the string now is 24 to nothing. In the second half, Dundee Crown point wise over St. Charles East. 5 10 remain regulation. Gore down. And there it hey. is. It happened at it the 507 mark. Right. Let's see if they can make something happen now. Took a long time. Took a 11 clock minutes almost for a score. Timeout right there. So it's 30, 42 32. 457 remain in this one. And a timeout right there. Good timeout by Huber. Everyone had run away from him. He had no, no outlet to get rid of the ball. So good timeout. Again, we appreciate you being aboard, wherever it might be. We're going to hear from uh, one of our great sponsors. That would be the good folks from Custom Heating and Cooling, as you know, for all your heating or cooling needs. Found on Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland, featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at customheating.com. Custom heating and cooling, powered by Bryant. Whatever it takes. Well, whatever it took has been the key here for the second half for Dundee Crown, Coach. Boy, you talk about two different teams, D.C. from the first half to this half, and the reverse for St. Charles East. It's like, uh, who would have thought? Here we go, the inbounding Dundee Crown in backcourt and he flings it into Rivera very good ball handler didn't start but came off the bench forward backward oh he tries went down what do they call a foul one in one time for Rivera St. Charles East was hoping a slip that took place there but a foul and to the line it's Rivera Rivera on the night that young man was uh, upset with that foul call, but I don't, he fouled. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, Three it's, points. It's like those pro players. I don't think there's a single yeah. pro basketball player that's ever fouled in his life. I think you're right. Missed it. Gore, the rebound. Call brings it up. Steven back to Gore. Gore's going to shoot. It looks like or foul or be fouled. He is going to be. Just called it on the floor. So that means no shot there. Gore into the, into the, well, the, the protection there underneath the hoop. Zach Riza was guilty of the foul. 
So inbound needs their own hoop, they will. Can they get it to Gore? Can he shoot? That's the question. Oh, my heaven. That's a pass backward, of, of course. That was more than half court dish back. Set up shop again, they will. Gore's got it here out of our line of sight, but you see him right there. Gore, can he shoot from the corner? Dribble drive, he falls down. Gets a pass away. There's no shot there. He's fallen down a couple of times in that sticky area there. Here into the lane, a bounce, a land of three. Air ball. Huber, foul. Foul. It's going to be two shot time, is it not? Uh, Are we nine? Yes, yeah, it's going to be two shots. Yep. Huber for two. A 10 point lead for Dundee Crown. 420 remain in regulation. It's been a 24 to two second half in this game. Dundee Crown with the 24, St. Wow. Charles East with the two. Now 25 to two. Wow. 43, 32, it was 30, 18 at the half, 11, five at the end of one quarter, 39, 30, a lead by Dundee Crown at the end of three. And it took 11 clock minutes nearly for St. Charles East to score, 44, 32. They'll bring it up. Can they get up another basket? Shot there. No board. Take it down. Gore's got it. Had it lost, and he might have been fouled. He might have been fouled. Looks like he was. He wasn't in the act of shooting, so it'd just be a, the common foul. Inbounding underneath their own hoop. It will be St. Charles East. So 10 gets the call on that foul. Huber. Inbounding. Slap of the pumpkin by the inbounder. Look at Dishon. Gore, can he shoot? He can. Oh, hits a side of the backboard. Rebound, it's Guyon. Guyon in trouble. Oh, Man wide open. Oh, he didn't see him. Didn't see him down low. He's wide open, but they're hanging on to the basketball. Wait to be fouled here. So wait to be fouled. Back out on top. Maybe, no, a hell ball or a foul. It's a hell ball. And it's going the way of St. Charles East. Folks not liking that. Timeout, 3.51 remaining. It's a timeout, 44-32, the count is, Coach. We're going to hear from Tom the Plumber, your good friend, at least one time. Tom the Plumber, <laughs> Inc. is a family-owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. Coach, tell me what you think. What a run. I mean, I, I don't think anyone could have envisioned uh, with one team down by 12 at halftime that they would come out and have this kind of dominant performance. This is bigger domination than what we had in the first game when you had Larkin far superior to Streamwood. They didn't run off, what, 26 to 2? I mean, holy smoke. Who some... would have thought it? No, you couldn't predict that. Here we go. We'll see what will happen in the final 351 of this one. The winner. I wonder if Cook is going to come back in the game. Yeah, or that's the right. Coach is just going to be that's content. Right. To, uh, look, they've done a since he got his fourth foul. He no doubt sparked this team and led them to the comeback. But then when he got his fourth foul, DC instead of letting down just really took hold. Played great defense and kept the lead. They didn't build on it that much, but they really, they've done a good job without him in there. Cook still on the bench, up and in. That basket's good. Stephen Call, I think. Stephen Call. Granddad likes that. Call has all the points in the second half, I believe. If our side, here's Huber in the lane. Shot, no. Rebound, Guyon. No, but Hunter Guyon will go to the free throw line. Hunter, strong kid on the boards, is he not? He really, he plays hard inside. He's 6'4 and 2'10, and a senior is Hunter. Weaver the foul, Guyon at the free throw line. 44-34. This one is short, Oops. looks to be all the way. Oops. Well uh, said, yeah, that was short all the way. Is that a technical term for the color oh, man? Right. Oops. Oops. <laughs> That's, you go to the seminar to come up with that Let's see if he compensates for that a little bit. All right. Hunter at the line. Bends the knees. This one is Swiss. Nice. Nice touch. He's got nine on the night. 
45-34. Only four points for this squad. St. Charles East, this one's gonna be either ring rain or no good. Rebound oh, great taken board. down. And it's gonna be a foul oh. of some sort. Riza. Great board by Riza. They called a jump ball. And DC he, ball. Here comes Cook. Here he comes. Not much playing time tonight, but he did help the comeback, if you will. He's kind of a point forward. A forward who runs the point. The chef is back in. Looking, dishing, dishing, dishing. Oh, he pushed off nicely to get three yes, on that one. He did. Here comes Cook. When will he get that fifth foul? Oh, Throws got, it away. He got his first turnover before he got his fifth foul. Can they score? Maybe not. No. Oh. Taken away by Riza. Riza. It's incredible with that. There's the action right there. Timeout called, I believe, by Dundee Crown. Or a foul, you call it. I guess it's right. a foul. This, <laughs> this Riza and Guyon remind me a lot of each other. Yeah. They, uh, they both play very physical. They tough kids inside. And Cook's coming out. Is he? Well, he's. He got his feet wet again. I guess, I, I guess that turnover prim did him in. Priming him for the, the Friday night encounter <laughs> yep. against Larkin. First one's good. 45-34. We have a whistle. Of course, it might have been short. What have we got, Coach? What happened here? Someone maybe didn't report in. I don't know. The officials talking to the bench. I don't know. Someone maybe didn't report in. Somebody. Yep. When they took Cook out, whoever went in for him didn't report. It's what I'm guessing. I think you're right because it's a lengthy discussion. It's got to be some naughty problem like that. So that doesn't go on the scoreboard. Is that what? It no, he's still. He still got fouled. He's still shooting his two shots. But I think we're going to have. A technical, I don't know. I, I don't know. Because this is the second shot. Coach. I don't know what happened now. They, so, they gave the sign for a technical. It's not going to be shot, it looks like. I don't know. Nice call, coach. Guy I have no idea. I have no idea what happened. They, they did give him that point. They gave him the first point, though. Yeah. And then this yeah, 46. The score is 46 34. And they. Or they, are they going to say I, take. I know he gave a sign for the technical foul, but then they didn't. Let him shoot the free throws. It is a discussion going on, all right. He's going to do it again. 2.53 remain. I don't know. We're just going to inbound again. We just wasted like. We'd have to be down there at the bench to hear exactly what went on. Well, we're going to station you down there next time, Coach. Yeah. So let's see if they can score. AJ dish it off, land of three in the blind corner, in and out, no. Follow up, AJ, no. Wow, can he do it, AJ, follow up, no. I think that's AJ underneath, isn't it? Yeah, or, or call. Oh, another turnover. And a foul, a whistle we hear. That would be all right there. So it's 46-36, a run of points. For, certainly for those guys now, for St. Charles East, since they've only scored only six. So they got a two now, point there, and they get more potentially now, here. here. And here comes Cook back in the game again. Eddie Herrera will we'll go see, to the we'll line. see how long he lasts this time. Herrera at the line, 229 regulation. 10 point lead for the team clad in white, Dundee Crown. This one, yes. It's a plethora of points now. They've gotten three recently, and seven for the second half. Her Herrera at the line. Second toss is good. 46-38. Be something like that football game recently. You think you, think, you think win it, but last play yeah, beat you. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, yeah. And what do we got? A foul or a turnover? A foul, it looks oh. like. Rivera going to the line. So Rivera, Gabriel Rivera to the line. He's a 5'10", 155 pounder, and a class of 2022. So he's hit one three on the night. And I believe he has one free throw for his total of three, uh, three points. This one, yes. 47, 38, it would take three threes now to tie it up. Three threes by Gore could do it, I guess. So Rivera at the line, 
226 they, regulation. They've got him listed at 5'10", but that must include his hair. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> I knew you'd question that guy. <laughs> Makes them both. 10 point lead. 220 remain. Trailing the team of the oh, basketball. AJ move. all the way. No. He can't get it to fall, but he does draw the foul. And he'll go to the line for two. They are playing better in the winning moments, St. Charles East. But they went silent for too long. To the line. He can get it within eight. First one. No. Everything rimming out. Kelton back in. McCaslin will check back in. And uh, everything seems like you used to shoot that spin too much, Coach. <laughs> they seem to get that revolution coming out of the basket, of the net and basket anyway. There you go. We got him into it. 48-39. Three threes would tie it. If you're a St. Charles East fan. Whoa. If you're Dundee Crown, you just want to hang on the basketball. Here's Cook. Cook with four fouls. Cook across the line. Cook tricky dribble. Wow. To Rivera. Cook can handle it all, can he? Cook, one dribble. Far side. Cook will get it back, we think. No, he won't. Into the corner, Huber. Huber will bring it out to Cook. Huber to Cook. Cook in the lane. Cook backwards to Huber. Huber brings it out at 155 remaining. They'll have to foul right here, you would think. Foul. Good move. Do that. Good move. Huber to two. 50, 39. Nice move. It is. Even though they're holding the ball here late in the game, he saw that little crease open up going to the rim. Go ahead and take advantage of it, and he drew the foul as well as getting the layup. Nice uh, coach's son move. It's a 32-9 run in the second half for Dundee Crown. Huber at the line. What's the discussion here, Coach? What is it? Coaches are really shouting out what's going on. They, I don't know. These, <laughs> Someone again. I don't think he, I didn't think he thought Stephen Call fouled out, I guess. That was quite a loud discussion. Or coach. I don't know. They'd have to talk to the bench again. Someone. <laughs> it's been a long season for St. Charles East. Yeah, yeah. Huber, yes. Huber with. 21. 21. Nice job by Huber. Well, if I'd have got 21 more last week, I'd have some money in my pocket. 50, yeah, that's right. Around the horn, they got to shoot. Got to shoot. Land of three. Left side. No. They hit three early and never again. Nice box out. It's a bit frustration for St. Charles East now. They know they're due. 136 yep. remain. 51 39. Raul Gore was hot with the threes early as St. Charles East had 11-5 lead at the quarter break and a 30-18 lead at half. But since then, it's been all Dundee crown with a lopsided advantage of coming home with, uh, we should say, uh, 33 points to their, just their nine. 33-9 run. Here's this one. Yes. Nice they love touch. it. 52-39. They'll try to stretch it to. Zach and Hunter really play strong inside. Yeah, they're really dying, yeah. inside. Hunter, nations. no. Board, AJ. They'll fling up some shots here. 93 seconds remain. Gore, fling it up from there, why don't you? Gore will not, but somebody will. They'll get it. Gore, fling it high. Gore will step back and force it up, and it's good! Time out right there. Gore, he did that three times in the first half, but only first time here in the second half. So 52-42. They're almost getting respectable in the fourth quarter with points. I know. Tom the Plumber is going to talk to us. We want to hear from Tom the Plumber, Inc. It's a family-owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. Coach? Well, I'll tell you, D.C. has really brought it this second half. If on Friday they can bring the team they brought out of the locker room at halftime, we're going to have a great ball game. If they bring the team that started the game, 
It's going to be over in a heartbeat because Larkin is a special, special well, team. So I'm looking, I'm looking at DC. I hope uh, Coach Huber gives that halftime talk pre-game on Friday, and we'll have a heck of a battle. No question about that, Coach. 52-42, the count. Larkin was a winner earlier tonight. 91-46 uh, to 46 it was as they were winners over Streamwood for the third time this year. They're in the same conference, the Upstate 8. Running along the baseline there. You can do that after the made points. Uh, it's going to be Rivera out of our line of sight, and he's going to be fouled, it looks like. Probably a foul somewhere in there. 115 remain. And to the line, it will be Dundee Crown. Did, did we get a foul or did he just call a timeout? Might have been timeout. We'll go with timeout now, it looks like it. Every, that's a question for everybody I out there. I can't see that. That's our coffin corner. That's right. We can't see down We're there. We're going now. off our I monitor. Think he might have just called timeout before he got tied up. All right, we'll he accept might. that. Not sure. Either way, the discussion seems to be loosely going on, doesn't it? No, we'll, we'll get a chance. We appreciate our great sponsors and, and the great the cast and crew that is Beacon Academy, South Elgin High School, that for the wonderful job they do all the audio and video they produce. Great uh, crew in the, in the truck, as we used to say and also the great camera crew that we have here. We appreciate their great efforts. We're back with you on Friday night for the championship game of this Larkin Regional in Elgin, Illinois. Larkin will play now Dundee Crown if they can hold on for the next handful of seconds. 52-42 it is. And here is our 114 remain. Inbounding in the coffin corner. Can we do it? We see it from our camera. Huber, Huber looks, finally just throws it away. Turnover, I think. Yeah, it is. And it's going to be uh, inbounding in that same coffin corner. It will be now for St. Charles. For St. Charles, St. Charles giving up, still yeah. putting the pressure on. Yep, here they, they're going to try to inbound here. Seems to be some discussion where they're going to line up. Changes as we go. Matching up with their men, they get a substitution here. They took uh, Cook, Cook out of the game. There's a steal. Going to be a foul here. No, he gets away. Rivera gets away. They bring it up. Where's the foul? There's the foul. Huber to the line. That's who DC wants them to foul. I'll tell you that. You get the ball in his hands. Get him on the foul line. Sew it up. 21 for Huber. Oops. That one's not good. Spoke too soon on that, didn't I? Well, sometimes it happens, Coach. <laughs> so again, it's been a 34 to 12 run. Got a little better than it was in this second half now with the run being done by Dundee Well, I Crown. really spoke too fast. You did, Coach. You're headed for the exit door before the game's over. I know. Land of three, no. Closer, no. Corn, coffin corner, three yet, no. Looked pretty good, but it went out of bounds. Looked good for a while, didn't it? And here comes Cook back in. Four fouls. Can he foul out with 53.9 seconds remaining? <laughs> I guess that's the question. Fine game for him in limited time. As you said, he helped deliver that turnaround there in the early part of the third quarter. We're picking up a fourth foul. Here comes Rivera. Where's the foul? Not there. There it is. Rivera to the line at the 48.2 second marker. Foul is ticketed to St. Charles, number 11, Rowan Drowski. For St. Charles, a foul on a kid off the bench, let's I believe. Let's see if here. Rivera can make nothing but the bottom of the net here. Yeah, let's see if he can. You like just to say that, don't you? Rowan <laughs> Kedrowski checked in a while ago. Swish. Is that nothing but Nick? Rivera says, I got this. Yeah. I got this. He's got 22 on the night. They haven't put it up yet. He should have now 20. Oh, Rivera, no. Rivera yeah, was Rivera. seven, yeah. It's Rivera seven. the line, yeah. He's got seven. Here it is, a steal, almost. It's 54-42. Dundee Crown will play Friday night against Larkin. We'll have it for you here on Beacon Academy, wherever you're watching and wherever you are tonight. I'm not sure if it's 7 or 7.30, probably 7 o'clock straight up shot, uh, game time. Fake oh. it. And that's Gore Bank. Smith. Fake it still open that's at 9 right. o'clock here in Elgin. That's right. That was almost drive through on that one. Yeah. And there's another foul. Foul is taken on St. Charles, number 11. Rowan Kedrowski. 
Kudrowski in there to foul and doing his job two in a row. To the line, it's Mr. Cook. A quiet night for Cook. Everybody was kind of drive through and he was around him, I guess. But he did have a, a good stint there. He's uh, Oh, that third quarter, he, he was, was special. I have Some great him. passes. He, he they were. Great he's got two points, I'm saying, Coach. McCaskill back in. Uh, McCaskill in the, of course, everybody out there now is going to fling a three. Cook at the line again. He's a lefty. I didn't, I, you know, he, he dribbled so well, I didn't saw him use his left hand. Uh -huh. He's left-handed because he was just practicing. Because he's doing a, those tricks. There's a, underneath, it is a basket. Put up and in nicely. Two points for Caslin. Kelton's got it. Cook has got it, you'll hang on to it, get fouled again. They'll let him dribble it out. It's gonna be all over. Cook with the fancy dribble. His team's gonna win 55 to 47. Count it down, four, three, two, one. They're going to Friday night to play. Dundee Crown will take on Larkin for the Larkin Regional Championship. And we'll have it for you here on Beacon Academy, Coach. Can't wait till Friday night. I think Larkin is a special, special team. But I think DC will come ready to go on Friday night. I think it's gonna be an exciting time. Both teams have excellent fan bases. I think we're gonna see a good house and a lot of excitement Friday night. So as it turned out the scoring, it'd be a 37 to 17 from 12 points down, eight point lead. But for a while it was 22 to nothing. Yeah. That was the Dundee Crown taking over the game in that third and in the early fourth quarter. So yeah, that's gonna do it. Our thanks to our great crew that we mentioned, the great fandom here. They're shaking hands out there. You're seeing uh, cheers being led, a dance step or two as we <laughs> watch our monitors. They're hugging right there, the, the relatives, the fans, the folks involved with Dundee Crown and the Chargers, a special moment. It is for Dundee Crown. And you see it right there. So we'll assemble once again, as we mentioned, on Friday as Huber led the way with 21 markers for Dundee Crown and a 55-47. Earlier in the night, in our first of two games it was, it was a 91-46 uh, victory uh, with Larkin over their opponent's stream. When it was that, I believe that score was, we forget it almost when we do it. That's what we went with. So that's gonna do it right here. And what, what, what do we need? Are we taking pictures? We're, congratulations, yeah. I'm, Folks are asking you to do something while we're talking on the air. It's always tough to do. <laughs> I'm not sure if we we're going to ask to take a photo or say hello to everybody. Uh, but either way, we say hello. Here we go. Hey, we're going to have a, be on camera in a moment as we yep. will wrap things up here again. We appreciate the, the great fandom that's out there enjoying these, uh, these special games. And we also appreciate the hospitality of Larkin High School and the great work by Ben Erickson in making sure that we can do these postseason games, Coach. They're fun to do really is we have a lot of excitement tonight but it'd be nothing compared to friday night and as i said before if dc brings the game and the team that they had the second half to start the game friday we're going to have quite a battle what i love about both squads is their fan base both teams have outstanding fan bases i think we're just going to see what high school basketball is all about this friday night and our jeopardy question of the night was who was the first coach of dundee crown you got him. I'm right here. And that would be the, what, the 83 4 season, 82 3? 83 84. All was right. The first year of That's when they, uh, Irving Crown and, and Dundee converged that year. Yes. Wonderful trivia account right there. So we're going to get out of here. Exciting game it was. That's the matchup. Dundee Crown, the Chargers, take on the Royals of Larkin. We'll see you on Friday night. We'll say for Coach and for everyone connected with Beacon Academy, I'm Jeff Myers. We'll say so long, everybody. Good night. This sports broadcast made possible by contributions from the following. The Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their 30 area McDonald's restaurants today. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? It's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Go to RosenHyundai.com or GenesisOfElgonquin.com. For all your heating or cooling needs, count on Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland. 
featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at customheating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling, powered by Bryant, whatever it takes. Tom the Plumber, service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at tomtheplumberinc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography, for portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Barnes Photography at darylbarnes.com. 